There are so many little details that make a kitchen the heart of the home. Of course, it's where all the cooking and baking magic happens. But there is also something really fascinating about the physical details that were found in old kitchens. Today, many folks try to mimic the vintage style of old kitchens, but there are a few quirky details that you just don't see anymore at all. Number one, push Sutton stoves. The concept of push button controls was not entirely new. By the 1960s, push button car radios had already become a popular feature, allowing drivers to switch stations with a simple press. This same principle of convenience was applied to kitchen appliances. The GE Liberator stove was among the first to incorporate push button technology, featuring an array of buttons to control different functions such as temperature and cooking modes. The design of the GE Liberator stove was sleek and modern, reflecting the era's fascination with space age aesthetics. The buttons were typically large and easy to press, making the stove user-friendly even for those who were not particularly tech savvy. This innovation promised to make cooking a more straightforward and enjoyable task, aligning perfectly with the mid-century modern desire for efficiency and simplicity in the home. Despite their initial appeal, push-button stoves were a fleeting trend. Several factors contributed to their decline. One major issue was durability. The buttons, while satisfying to press, were prone to wear and tear, leading to malfunctions over time. Additionally, the technology behind these stoves was relatively new and, at times, unreliable. Consumers began to favor more traditional knobs and dials, which were perceived as sturdier and easier to repair. Another factor was the rapid pace of technological advancement. As new cooking technologies emerged, such as microwave ovens and more advanced electric stoves, the push-button stove quickly became outdated. Manufacturers shifted their focus to developing these new appliances, leaving push-button stoves as a short-lived experiment in kitchen design. Although push-button stoves were not a long-term success, they represent an important moment in the evolution of kitchen technology. They reflect the mid-20th century's spirit of innovation and the desire to integrate modern technology into everyday life. The tactile pleasure of pressing a button to control your stove is a small but significant example of how designers sought to enhance the user experience. Today, push-button technology has evolved and integrated into various modern appliances, from microwaves to sophisticated induction cooktops. While the original push-button stoves like the GE Liberator are now considered vintage collectibles, the concept they introduced continues to influence contemporary kitchen design. The focus on user-friendly controls and streamlined design remains a key consideration for appliance manufacturers. Number two, pass-through cabinets. During the bustling decades of the 1950s and 1960s, American homes saw a variety of innovative designs and features aimed at enhancing both functionality and aesthetic appeal. Among these, pass-through cabinets emerged as a notable but relatively underappreciated architectural element. These cabinets served as a bridge between the kitchen and dining areas, offering a convenient way to transfer dishes and food while maintaining a degree of separation between cooking and dining spaces. Pass-through cabinets, particularly when designed with built-in china cabinets, added a touch of elegance and practicality to mid-century homes. This specific configuration allowed homeowners to display their finest china and glassware, effectively turning a functional space into a decorative one. The built-in china cabinet often featured glass-fronted doors, showcasing the family's treasured heirlooms and collectibles. This not only created a visual appeal, but also provided easy access to dishes and serving ware, enhancing the efficiency of meal preparation and serving. The concept of the pass-through cabinet wasn't entirely new, but its popularity peaked in mid-century America. Its origins can be traced back to the early 20th century, where similar designs were seen in butler's pantries of affluent homes. However, it was during the post-World War II era that these cabinets became more widespread, reflecting the era's emphasis on modernity and convenience. The post-war boom saw a surge in home ownership, with many families moving to suburban areas and seeking innovative home designs that could cater to their modern lifestyles. In addition to their practicality, pass-through cabinets embodied the mid-century modern design principles of simplicity, functionality, and beauty. These cabinets often featured clean lines, minimalistic hardware, and were constructed from materials like wood and glass that harmonized with the rest of the home's interior. The use of light-colored woods and open shelving helped create a sense of spaciousness and airiness 
which was highly desirable in mid-century home design. Moreover, the pass-through cabinet facilitated a more social and interactive cooking and dining experience. It allowed the cook to remain engaged with guests or family members in the dining area while still attending to meal preparation in the kitchen. This feature was particularly appealing during an era that valued family togetherness and social gatherings. The pass-through design also minimized the need for individuals to move back and forth between the kitchen and dining room, streamlining the process of serving meals and clearing dishes. Despite their practicality and aesthetic appeal, pass-through cabinets did not become a standard feature in most homes. Several factors contributed to this. As architectural trends evolved, open floor plans gained popularity, reducing the need for such transitional elements. Additionally, the rise of more modern kitchen designs and innovations in kitchen appliances and cabinetry provided alternative solutions for storage and meal preparation, making pass-through cabinets less essential. However, in recent years, there has been a renewed interest in mid-century modern design, leading to a resurgence in the appreciation for vintage architectural features like pass-through cabinets. Homeowners and designers today recognize the charm and functionality that these cabinets bring, and some are incorporating them into contemporary home designs as a nod to the past while blending with modern aesthetics. Number three, tiled countertops. The early 20th century saw a rise in the popularity of tiled countertops, particularly in the sanitary kitchens of the 1920s and 1930s. The design was not just about aesthetics, it was also about hygiene. The tiles were easy to clean, making them a practical choice for busy households. During this period, black and white or yellow color schemes were especially popular. These colors added a quaint, homely feel to kitchens, making them welcoming spaces for families to gather. The appeal of tiled countertops was revived in the 1960s, a decade known for its bold design choices and experimentation with different materials and textures. Kitchens from this era often featured vibrant, eye-catching tile patterns that reflected the eclectic spirit of the time. However, as the decades rolled on, the trend began to fade. By the late 20th and early 21st centuries, tiled countertops became a rare sight in new kitchens or remodels. Despite their decline in popularity, there's a certain timeless quality to tiled countertops that keeps them relevant in the world of vintage design. For many, they represent a link to the past, a way to bring a piece of history into their modern homes. The durability of tiles means that many of these countertops have stood the test of time, and with a little care and restoration, they can be brought back to their former glory. Interestingly, the resurgence of interest in vintage and retro designs has led to a renewed appreciation for tiled countertops. Homeowners looking to create a nostalgic ambiance in their kitchens often turn to this classic design element. The internet is rife with articles and guides on how to restore or recreate tiled countertops, proving that their charm is far from forgotten. One of the reasons tiled countertops have such enduring appeal is their versatility. They can be incorporated into a variety of design styles, from rustic farmhouse kitchens to sleek mid-century modern spaces. The tiles themselves come in an array of colors, shapes, and sizes, allowing for endless customization. This adaptability makes them a favorite among DIY enthusiasts and professional designers alike. Moreover, the craftsmanship involved in creating a tiled countertop is a nod to a bygone era of meticulous attention to detail. Each tile is carefully placed, creating a mosaic that is as functional as it is beautiful. This level of detail is often lacking in modern mass-produced countertops, making tiled designs a standout feature in any home. While it's true that tiled countertops are not as common in contemporary kitchen remodels, their influence can still be seen in other design elements. Backsplashes, for instance, often feature intricate tile patterns that hark back to the tiled countertops of the past. Similarly, kitchen islands with tiled surfaces can add a touch of vintage charm to an otherwise modern space. Number four, rolling pin drawer. We've all come across pull-out breadboards in old-fashioned kitchens, but what about a rolling pin drawer? This unique feature was once an essential part of many kitchens in the Wild West, reflecting how central baking was to daily life. The rolling pin drawer provided easy access to a crucial tool for making bread, pastries, and other baked goods that formed a staple part of the diet in those days. Back in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the rolling pin was indispensable in a kitchen. This tool wasn't just for occasional use. 
it was a daily necessity. With the harsh realities of frontier life, families often relied on home-baked goods for sustenance, as store-bought bread was a luxury not easily available or affordable. Therefore, a rolling pin drawer ensured that this vital utensil was always within reach, facilitating the efficient preparation of meals. Times have certainly changed. Today, the rolling pin might be considered a specialty tool, used primarily by those who bake frequently or enjoy making pastries from scratch. Modern kitchens are filled with a wide array of gadgets and appliances designed to make cooking easier and faster, often rendering many traditional tools obsolete. However, the rolling pin drawer is a charming reminder of a time when cooking was a labor-intensive, hands-on process. In the Wild West, the kitchen was the heart of the home, and the rolling pin was a symbol of domesticity and sustenance. Women would spend hours each day baking bread, pies, and biscuits to feed their families. This tool, simple yet essential, played a significant role in their daily routines. The rolling pin drawer, thus, was not just a convenience but a necessity, ensuring that the rolling pin was always at hand for the next batch of dough. Moreover, the rolling pin itself has a rich history. Traditionally made from wood, the rolling pin has been a staple in kitchens for centuries. Its design has remained relatively unchanged, a testament to its effectiveness. In the context of the Wild West, rolling pins were often handmade, passed down through generations, and cherished as family heirlooms. The rolling pin drawer, therefore, not only served a practical purpose, but also helped preserve these important household items. The evolution of kitchen design reflects broader changes in society and technology. As the availability of pre-made goods increased and kitchen technology advanced, the need for constant baking at home diminished. This shift is mirrored in the disappearance of features like the rolling pin drawer from modern kitchens. Yet, for those who continue to bake, the rolling pin remains an essential tool, a link to culinary traditions of the past. Number five, dining nooks. Starting in the 1910s, the breakfast nook steadily gained popularity in American homes. These cozy dining spaces became particularly favored by the burgeoning middle class. As families moved into smaller houses, the need for an efficient and convenient place to enjoy meals became apparent. This led to the breakfast nook becoming an essential feature in many homes, appreciated for its practicality and charm. In the early years, many breakfast nooks were constructed from pine. This wood choice was popular due to its availability and affordability, making it an ideal material for the cost-conscious middle class. These pine nooks were simple yet functional, often featuring built-in benches that maximized space in smaller kitchens. As time progressed, the design of breakfast nooks evolved. By the 1950s, a new style had emerged, influenced by the iconic American diner. These diner-style nooks featured sleek seats with chrome edging and formica tabletops, capturing the spirit of the era. The shiny chrome details and vibrant colors of the upholstery brought a modern and playful touch to the home kitchen, contrasting sharply with the more rustic pine models of earlier decades. Each of these styles, from the quaint pine models of the 1910s to the flashy diner-inspired designs of the 1950s, carried its unique appeal. The early pine nooks evoked a sense of simplicity and homeliness, perfect for families who valued a warm, communal space. On the other hand, the diner-style nooks brought a sense of novelty and modernity, reflecting the changing tastes and increasing influence of popular culture on interior design. The concept of the breakfast nook itself is a testament to the evolving nature of American domestic life. As homes grew smaller and more efficient, every square foot had to be utilized effectively. The breakfast nook was a clever solution to this challenge, providing a dedicated space for casual meals without requiring a full dining room. Moreover, breakfast nooks weren't just about practicality, they also served as a gathering spot, a place where families could come together to start their day or share a casual dinner in the evening. The intimacy of a nook, often tucked into a corner or against a window, offered a sense of togetherness that larger dining spaces could not always provide. By examining the history of the breakfast nook, we can see how design trends mirror broader societal changes. The shift from pine to chrome, for instance, reflects not just a change in aesthetic preferences, but also advancements in manufacturing and material science. The move towards more modern industrial materials in the 1950s coincided with a period of economic growth and technological innovation in the United States. 
In contemporary homes, the charm of the breakfast nook remains strong. While modern interpretations may vary in materials and design, the core idea of a small, dedicated dining area persists. Whether it's a sleek, minimalist nook in a city apartment or a cozy, rustic corner in a country home, the breakfast nook continues to be a beloved feature. Number six, scalloped woodwork. A bygone era's charm lives in the scalloped woodwork that once graced countless kitchens across the American landscape. This quaint design feature, commonly found along the tops of windows or cabinets, added a touch of homey elegance to the heart of the home. Especially prevalent from the 1940s through the 1960s, scalloped woodwork was a hallmark of mid-century kitchen design. During this period, the kitchen was more than just a place to prepare meals. It was a central gathering spot for families, a place where memories were made. The intricate, wave-like patterns of scalloped woodwork reflected a time when craftsmanship and attention to detail were paramount in home design. These decorative elements provided a sense of warmth and personality, making each kitchen unique. The trend of scalloped woodwork can be traced back to a broader cultural appreciation for ornate and decorative elements in everyday objects. This style not only provided visual interest, but also demonstrated the homeowner's taste and attention to detail. In the post-war era, when many homes were built quickly and efficiently, such touches offered a sense of individuality and care. Despite its popularity in the mid-20th century, today's home renovation trends often see these charming features removed. Modern design preferences tend to favor sleek, clean lines and minimalistic aesthetics, leading many to strip away the scalloped edges in favor of a more contemporary look. However, this loss also means a loss of the unique character and history embedded in these homes. Interestingly, the return to mid-century modern design in recent years has sparked a renewed interest in some vintage design elements. While scalloped woodwork hasn't fully reclaimed its former widespread popularity, there is a growing appreciation for the craftsmanship and nostalgic charm it represents. In certain circles, preserving these elements has become a way to honor the past and maintain a connection to the architectural history of the home. For those who cherish the historical and aesthetic value of scalloped woodwork, there are ways to incorporate this feature into modern kitchens without sacrificing contemporary style. Some designers blend the old with the new by pairing scalloped woodwork with modern materials and finishes. This approach allows for a unique fusion of past and present, creating spaces that are both stylish and rich in history. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, Scalloped woodwork also serves as a reminder of the evolving nature of home design and the ways in which our living spaces reflect broader cultural shifts. In the 1940s and 1950s, this design element was part of a larger trend that embraced detailed, handcrafted features. Today, the minimalist movement speaks to a different set of values, prioritizing simplicity and function over ornamentation. The story of scalloped woodwork is a testament to the ever-changing tastes and preferences in home decor. While it may no longer be a staple in modern kitchens, its legacy endures. For those who have the opportunity to preserve or restore this feature, it can serve as a beautiful and tangible link to the past, a nod to the artistry and individuality that once defined American home design.